Okay, every day another integral. This one's from MIT Integration B 2022, I think. Yeah, this one's from MIT 2022, regular season number six. We've got the integral of 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1 over the cube root x cubed plus 1 dx. Okay, this one was interesting just because it's clear to me that I need to do some algebra because I can't just do a u substitution. The derivative of this is going to be 3x squared. And that's not what we have in the numerator. So for algebra, really what I need to do is, I think I need to factor this. What I wanna do for this fraction, we're gonna have, we'll have the numerator, I'm gonna write the, sorry, the denominator, I'm gonna write this as x cubed plus one to the one third. And then out of this, at least we have x cubed terms. So what I'm gonna do is kind of force this thing to happen in the numerator. So I'm gonna kind of create an x cubed plus one. And we'll separate this because I want this to work with this. And then let's see what's left. We're gonna have, from here, we're gonna have two x cubed left. And from this one, we're gonna have two x squared. So if I take this and put it back into the integral, first I'll divide this into this piece with exponent properties. That's gonna become x cubed plus one, and then it'll be minus two thirds, I think. No, actually that's a positive two thirds when we do that, when we divide that in. And then we'll break it into two fractions. For this here, I can factor out 2x squared. So we can end up with 2x squared. And then what's left is going to be x plus 1 all over this thing. But the thing I notice here is if we take the derivative of just this piece right here, it's going to be something, it's going to have at least this part right here. Because when you do power rule, you subtract 1 from this, you're going to have minus 1 third. And this is 1 third, but it's in the denominator. So what I want to do is let's call this piece right here g. So we'll say g equals x cubed plus one to the two thirds. And then let's find the derivative on this. So g prime is gonna be, first we do power rule, two thirds x cubed plus one minus one third. Then we need chain rule on this, and that's gonna give me three x squared. But we can simplify this. I can cancel out the threes, and then two times x squared, I can write it as two x squared, bring this into the denominator, and we'll have it as x cubed plus one one third. But then coming back to our integral, this thing we just found, this is exactly this stuff. And what's happening is it's starting to look like reverse product rule is going to work on this. For the product rule, if we have, if we're multiplying two things, we take the derivative, this formula is just f prime g plus f g prime. And what's going to happen is because we're inside of an integral, if you take the integral on both sides of this, integral here of a derivative is just going to give our solution as fg plus c. So we have the g, g prime part already in place. And then what we need to deal with is the other part, f. So if this here is g prime, then for this to work, we want f to be this piece. So we want f to be equal to x plus 1. Finding a derivative is real easy on this. Derivative of this is going to be just 1. So for the f prime piece over here, I can just kind of create that, multiply on a one, that's not gonna change anything. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be our f prime right there. So as it turns out, this integral is in exactly this form here. We've got our f prime g plus f g prime. And so our solution, this is just gonna be f times g. So for my final solution of this, we get just x plus one times x cubed plus one, two thirds, add a plus c, and that's it. If you wanted to get crazy, you could factor an x plus 1 out of this, and then what would you get? You'd have x plus 1 to the 5 thirds, combining it with this. The other piece would be x squared minus x plus 1 to the 2 thirds, add a plus c. Um, I think it's a little simpler this way, and that's the way MIT had it, so I'll stay with this one, but alternative solution right there. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.